Looks like a fire in a hole. That's what it is. Time for yet another episode of The Root Boy Cooks. And today we're going to cook up some, I got some uh, sweet Italian peppers. And we're going to stuff them with some cheese. Got some jalapeno harvati and some extra sharp cheddar. We're going to stuff in those peppers. And then we're going to make some uh, shrimp, stuffed shrimp. And uh, I'm going to do a video response to my own video. I'm going to show you my pirate fish because the shrimp is right along the lines of my pirate fish. So you'll see what I'm talking about if you watch both videos. Anyway, let's uh, get the fire on the grill and get the party started. So I so got stay my tuned. Uh, peppers stuffed with cheese and I stuck a cherry tomato. I don't know if you can see that. I stuck a cherry tomato in the end and secured it with a toothpick to hold that cheese in. I'm going to set that on the wood and let them smoke a while. I'm going to move this wood off the fire. Okay, I'll burn up. And we're just going to let that go a while and then I'm going to get my uh, stuffing mix made up and I'm going to lay out my shrimp. But look at those peppers, aren't they beautiful? beautiful colors, those Italian sweet peppers and they're stuffed with jalapeno Havarti and sharp cheddar cheese with a cherry tomato in the end. And we're gonna let that cook a while and we'll bring it All right, right back. Alright, while the peppers so are on by. the grill getting smoked up good, I'm gonna put together this crab meat stuffing. And it's very simple stuffing. I just used some, uh, about a cup of uh, cracker crumbs. And I add to that crab meat. I got two things of crab meat but I think I'm probably only going to use one eight ounce container of crab meat. That looks like a lot. And I've got some uh, diced red bell pepper. Should look pretty nice. Got a diced shallot, a whole diced shallot. Got a diced couple of cloves of garlic. I'm put that in there. And I got some uh, melted butter. I'm going to pour all over that. Mix that all up. Oops. That's my, that's my go-to crab meat stuffing that I use for almost everything. I might vary the ingredients somehow, somewhere, here and there. Add a little salt and pepper to that. Salt and pepper mix of that pepper out of there and uh, just give that a good mix break up that crab meat I think I'm gonna put that other container of crab meat back in the fridge because I think I got plenty of stuffing here might need a little bit more butter Pretty nice, pretty nice consistency. That looks pretty good. Throwing it everywhere. I'm flinging it everywhere. How's that look? Can you see that through the camera? Let's see how that looks. Oh yeah, oh yeah, it looks like uh, some kind of stuffing. Okay, so what I'll do now is I got my shrimp butterflied, and I'll uh, I'm gonna check on those peppers. I'm gonna lay the shrimp on the uh, cedar planks and then I'll just pile the stuffing right on top of them dump a little paprika on them and brown them up and we'll okay, bring it right back. I got my shrimp on the board I butterflied the shrimp. My tomato plugging idea didn't work too cool because the uh, cheese leaked out of them but anyway you get the idea what I was trying to do I got my butterfly shrimp and what I'm gonna do with them is just lay the stuffing right on top of them and uh, I'm going to cook that a little bit. doesn't take long to cook shrimp on this hot grill on a hot day. I'm just going to lay that on top of there like so. I hope that's on camera. I think it is. I think you can see what I'm doing. 
I had more than enough stuffing for my shrimp for that one can of uh, crab meat. Lay that on there. I could have stuffed those uh, peppers with a little bit of this too, but I didn't think of it until it was too late. So there we go. All we got to do is get that pretty much stuffed up. Crab meat stuffing there. I'll try to rescue that little bit. I don't think it's going to happen. I guess that's going in the grill. Anyway, I'm going to wash my hands and throw some paprika on there. Yeah. Sprinkle a little bit of paprika right on top. There we go. Put the cover back on. Grill it for a while longer. And when I bring you back, It'll be time for the most important part of our video. You all know what that is. That's when I get to drink Okay, a beer. I got the Frosty Root Boy mug out, and I got a very special brew that my daughter got me for Father's Day, among other things. Monk in the Trunk Organic Amber Ale. And this is brewed in Florida, right in Jupiter, Florida. So, uh, pretty exciting to know that they brew beer right here in my home state. I'm going to pour that in a cup. See how that looks if I can get it open. Ah, yeah, okay. Oh, that looks good. It's nice and dark. Not as dark as the Turbo Dog, but it's dark. It's a dark, it's an amber ale. Can you see that? Yeah, that's like an amber ale. I'm going to quaff the froth off of that baby. Let you know how that tastes. Oh, that's really good. Excellent. One of the better beers that I've had. It's a very beautiful amber color in the old Root Boy mug right there. So my uh, shrimp... You know, let's take the cover off and see what it looks like. Doesn't take long to cook shrimp and crab, I'll tell you. Yeah, they're not quite turning pink yet, so they got some time to go yet. I don't know if you can see that. Okay. Yeah, here you go. Yeah, they're not uh, they're not really cooked yet. That's got to cook some more. So we're gonna put the cover back on that, and I'll bring it back for uh, plating it up. So 